Hello everyone and welcome back to the, the uh, Rust Belt Project. I am your host, the Desert Fox. This is episode 30. 30! Uh, this is actually take two. I actually had to reset this one. Uh, yeah, but we're standing here outside of Philadelphia. We did start uh, just up the street here in New York City. We had a really nice shot there. Uh, but today we are going to get to Baltimore from here. Uh, we're going to reset the line so it incorporates that. And yeah, and then we're gonna set up the bus route in Baltimore. Kind of come up with a game plan from there, and that'll be in the episode for today. So let's get on it. I uh, hope everyone's been safe uh, out there and enjoying themselves at the same time. I know, like in my state, the weather's been rather nice today. As I'm recording this, it's uh, like I don't know, like 68 degrees. Uh, rather unseasonable for this time of year. It's usually like 168 degrees, but. I kid, I kid. But I digress. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's just kind of bring the smoothing gun out for that, because that's, that's a horrendous-ass angle. <laughs> Jesus, alright. Alright, dude. Jeez. Louise. That's how you make a nice smooth transition, people. Come on. Come on, game. Don't give me that stuff. Alright. Let's put a passenger station. 2 track, 320. High speed, canteries. I'm gonna try to fit it in, like, right down here would be perfect. I can coil it back and around. And I think. Yeah, we can hit that. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, it's not too much angle. No, but it does have to descend a little bit, so we'll have to smooth that out. Let's smooth that out. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, so we're already there. Uh, yeah, boom. That part done. Get a nice laid in and pretty. smooth this out a little bit more all right cool um now let's go back over to our road tools boom now he's got that right, back over to our tracks this kids lit all right Now I think I know why the Long Island Railroad doesn't work. <clears throat> Don't want to break you, but we are going to add more stuff. Then boom. You need to be on one. Right. Did I not do the right thing? Stand on Philadelphia too? Yeah. Okay. Then New York? Yeah, so it should be Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York, Boston. Okay, yeah. Do not have to put it in a second time. Cool. Alright, that's the expansion. Um. Cool. Let's hit play with two times speed. Let's get some buses. And let's get up out of here. We'll just do this. We'll just do the... Uh... Cool.
new line. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to pay attention uh, to like the RCI. Cause I think that works the same in Transport Fever as it does in uh, uh, City Skylines. Is it Vault? Demore. Plus. Line one. Okay. Let's get a depo. You have a depo? I've got a depo. We all have a depo. Um, passenger, scroll down for the bus. Let's get three of these some bitches. All right, there we go. Um, ball two mortar. Boom. <clears throat> all righty. Um. So from there, so let's think. So that's that. So now we have the next part. Uh, of the expansion done and I want to kind of plan for this last one so the problem here is Baltimore and Washington sit kind of on top of each other on this map and they've grown to the part where they're kind of one big city and it's already being supplied on the other side by one station and I didn't really want to force that to change or at all so what I was thinking is we can just bypass Washington since it's already on the, the hookup and then we can just take the route and kind of just snake around the back of Washington, let this train get up to a good old speed, and bring it back in across this river, and then we'll bring it in to a terminus station somewhere in here. Right here in Richmond. We'll even bring it down here if we want, and we can bring it right up to the coastline. And then from there, I was thinking we can set up the freight aspect of that because uh, I think this is going to be the, f the same line that runs the freight to all these cities at least in some aspect because it'll be the technically the innermost route from the coast uh, innermost accessible route <clears throat> uh, along this entire corridor so that way when we start hooking up uh, freight to this stuff which is going to take a while I haven't really got a plan because it's all kind of strewn about and there's not a lot on the map. So I'm going to have to add some stuff in still down here. There's plenty of space and like lots of open space back down here. I could even add another town or two down here um, just for shits and giggles. But um, So from there, uh, this episode is episode 30. 31 will get this hooked up and finished and then we'll ride the whole thing from top to bottom um, 31 we'll get the freight of it set up uh, on the same route and then from 32 onward we'll start looking at uh, getting some of this freight down here and all these other towns down here hooked up uh, we still got to get Cincinnati Dayton Toledo uh, Huntington uh, Owensboro Evansboro or Evansville, Parksville, Parksburg, Pittsburgh, all this needs to be hooked up. So all of this stuff needs to be hooked up still. So we still got plenty of time, still got plenty of room. There's some big space out here. We could probably do something really ambitious. And I'm thinking actually another passenger line somewhere from Pittsburgh. Probably put the station right about here and run trains down to Parksburg, Huntington. We can hit Cincinnati. We can hit Louisville, somehow connect it to the Louisville station. And then we could even just do a Louisville, uh, from the Louisville station to like an Owensboro, Evansboro, kind of like a branch service down here. Just a three, these three are kind of its own little system. Um, then we'll make from Louisville up to Pittsburgh its own like kind of main central system there, right there across the border, right up to the river. Um, Cincinnati we can do it like Cincinnati north of Detroit still we can even take that to Toronto I don't care at this point uh, we just need to figure something out and then we can run trains you know we can do a Chicago to Cincinnati we can figure stuff out let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see anything kind of bizarre you want to see me do like a Chicago to a Cincinnati or a Chicago to Pittsburgh uh, I mean presently I do have like the longest train on the or the longest uh, running route is probably the Chicago to New York holy shit what is going on over here 
Oh, okay. It's just dropping shit off of the depot. And it's picking shit up. Okay. Yeah, we're dropping... Oh, man. That's a lot of goods. Hey, it's a lot of goods. We even have Milwaukee to hook up still. Like, it's not even connected. We haven't delivered freight to it yet. There's nothing there yet. So, we also need to finish the Michigan freight, too. So, we have plenty of time to go. We might actually get this to past 40 episodes. Maybe even 50, which would be insane for me. Um, but, yeah, I want to see if we can do it. I want to see if we can make that happen. Um, so, yeah, guys. That's going to be the end of this one for me. Uh, I've been your host, Desert Fox. If you guys have liked this one, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please throw a thumbs up. If you guys subscribe, please remember to hit the bell icon. So that way you guys are the first ones to see the content when it pops up. Um, thank you guys for the wait. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace.